Why, hello there. It's Adele from Let's Get Inky and I have got something very pretty to show you today. This is a diary that I bought from my local news agents and it's called Daphne's Diary and it's made by... It's a published as a magazine eight times per year in Dutch, English and German. So if you go to daphnesdiary.com I think they might have a magazine as well as this diary because it says it's published as a magazine eight times per year. So I'll definitely be looking into that because it's really pretty. Um, I got mine from my local news agents. It was $25 and it's, it's worth it. It's nice and chunky. Um, so I'm not sure where you'd be able to get it from. If you have a look on their website, you might be able to find some stockists close to you. Um, European girls, you might be able to get it in your local shops because it seems to be a, a Dutch German place thing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just butchered that. Um, it's really pretty and I'm excited because I've never quite seen a diary like this. Now, everything in here isn't 100% to my style um, some of it's a bit too over the top vintagey birdie florally greenery um, but I'm going to use this I think as like a memory planner for next year or my at home planner I haven't decided yet or a YouTube planner haven't decided but it's not going to be my everyday planner that's going to be my Midori which is on its way from another country where is it from somewhere in Asia it's coming from um, hopefully before Christmas because it's my Christmas present um, but that's going to be my everyday diary but this I just couldn't resist because you'll understand when you see it so it opens up and it's got a lovely little pocket here and it's got a really sweet little bookmark too which is cute the regular in case of it's got calendars and then it just shows you the setup of the diary so every month is like this it has a page at the front and then this kind of list area and then it folds out oh no sorry this isn't the month got that wrong backtrack this is the start of it so it's got little things here to remember and then it's got a whole month so you, this would be great for birthdays and then this is what the month start like, starts like. So this is January and January has every day of the week, uh, month. Oh my goodness Adele. It has every day of the month and then a little space at the side to um, write on, which I think is really handy. And then look at how pretty that is. Every month has this little fold out bit. So you could even fold it the other way if you wanted to and have your whatever you want to write in there so I just think that's beautiful and then afterwards you can use these as um, on scrapbooking you can use them for your art journal whatever you like so there's that and then they have this little activity page so this month it's a coloring in page and then this is the week now I just think this is a brilliant idea so it's got a week on two pages and oh, I'm sorry if you can hear that hang on Sorry, husband started whippersnippering right outside my window. So this is what the week on two pages looks like. It's got a vertical plan and I'll hold it up to show you. So it starts off with day of the week. Then it's got, it hasn't got anything um, written there. So you could do morning, day, afternoon. You could do separate it for different people in your family. You could separate it for appointments, work and to do's whatever you like that's something that I really like about this up the top it's got menu so you can write what you want to have for dinner down the bottom it's got um, running so if you're someone who has a Fitbit or counts their steps every day or um, is doing something exercise you could write it there it's got TV which I think is really cute so if there's a particular show you want to watch then it's got a little rating scale. So it's got a thumbs down and then a thumbs up. So you can scale the day as to how it's been. And then this is really sweet. So it's got five fruits and then five water bottles. So you can color in um, how much you've had. And then down here, it's got my favorite quote this week. I just think they've done a lot of thinking about what people want to put in their planner. This is really clever too. It's a shopping list and it's perforated. No, it's not, but you could just tear it out. 
shopping list and a to-do list and I like that it's smaller because it just adds to the fun of it really and then on the back you could easily write anything you want there here it's got diary so you could write some things that you did that week and it's got the week number as well why is that week 53 though oh because it starts in December that's why so if you're a project lifer this is great because it's got the weeks on there for you um, so that's what a week looks like so what I might do is I'll just quickly flick and every week seems to have a different design on it which is just really cute a lot of planning has gone into this one it's now on to February and there's a bit of Sudoku so I'll give you a quick flick because I think it's worth it to see every page because it's so um, different. So here's a recipe for pancakes. Ooh, ching ching. Here's a recipe for pancakes and here's two little postcards. So they're on cardstock that you could rip out. Oh, that's like my favorite one so far. And it's March, is this March? Yes, it's my birthday month. So there's those. And because the spine's so big, you could really bulk it up a little bit as well. So I rather like this. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever seen a diary like this because I certainly haven't. Um, oh, I'm going to paint that. That's gorgeous. <laughs> um, it's just, it's really pretty and I think it will be helpful for me because I've tried the pretty planning thing and I'm not as consistent as I wish I could be. Um, so I think this might be helpful because a lot of the pretty planning is done for me. Spaghetti recipe. Oh, what's this one? Different types of smoothies. That's cute. Because I often, I forget to pretty plan and I feel like if, and then I get frustrated with myself. Do you guys get like that? Because I go, oh, well, this week had nothing on it. So should I even bother? <gasps> are they stickers? They are stickers, that's cool. Um, so I think this would be good because half of the pretty planning, well, 90%, oh, look at it, it's a bunny in teacups. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's gonna go in a frame. Um, sorry, that was too excited. Um, a lot of the plan, a lot of the prettiness is already done for you. So like 95% of the pretty planning is done for me. So all I need is a few stickers and things and I'll be set. Barbecue sauce recipe. I just, yeah, I thought I'd share the love for it because I've never heard of this company before. I'm, they don't know me, I don't know them, but I just thought that if you're someone who has my similar type of style, some more postcards, that this would be, oh look at that too, this would be a very good planner for you, especially if you're like me and it gets to the end of the year and you just want to buy all of the planners because that's what we do isn't it, as planner people, we just, we buy them all up, apple crumble pie, they're still going, what are we in November? You could never get bored with this planner. There's something new on every page. And I really do, the, pl the price of planners does frustrate me, especially when you're like me and you buy five of them and then you don't even use one of them. Um, but I think this one's completely worth it. I really do. So there's some little stickers at the back that you could use. And you could even, because it's this size, if you tore out like one of the shopping list pages, you could punch your own things and then cut slits in the side so that they can come in and out and you can put your own stickers in the back there. What a clever idea. And that must be Daphne, Daphne the cat. And then there's some, there's some other language there. <laughs> I don't know how to read that one. But yes, so that's my Daphne's diary. And let me know in the comments below what you think I should use it for. Do you think it should be an at-home planner or YouTube and creative things um, or what? Because I really am excited. I can't wait. <gasps> what day does it start? I might be able to start using it next week. I think I might. 
Monday. I can use it next Monday. So tell me before next Monday what I can use it for. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you very soon. Bye.